Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the Exile lands in map square C11, building the Afterlife Tavern built with the new dungeon extension set. The requirements for this build are on screen now, feel free to screenshot if you need to, and without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, start off with this base plate which is a little smaller than the final size. Use dungeon walls to cover the gaps beneath the ceilings. Once the walls are in place, put a ring of ceilings around the build on every side apart from the back 2x2. Two two. Then hang dungeon iron walls from those ceilings. Those ceilings can be any material you like as they will be replaced later on. From there use the dungeon vaulted ceilings to replace the perimeter ceilings, connecting the vaults together to create arches. On the intersection between the main floor and the back, 2x2 two two at the corners, you can build a solid tile either with a foundation or with a ceiling and walls to keep the arch placement consistent. Next, use the dungeon quarter pillars on each meeting point of the vaults beneath the build, and also place a simple staircase at the front. You'll need more quarter pillars than this later on, but this is a good start. Next for the ground floor walls, place two two tile doorways at the front, then build the walls as shown on the blueprint earlier. Build them two tiles high, but first place a spiral staircase in the back 2x2 two two, as you can't place it if walls are nearby. Continue the walls until you're left with a 2x3 on either side, then use reinforced stone sloping sides to facilitate a level change and use the quarter pillars to buff them out. Next I raise the quarter pillars at the front of the build and use vaulted ceilings on the front porch. Inside the build, use vaulted ceilings on the front and back above the walls to add a bit of shape and connect them together with regular ceilings to form the ground level of the first floor. You'll also want to use a ceiling tile to connect that to the staircase. After building some of the corner pillars up, use walls to build the first floor, excluding the corner tiles. Build the walls two tiles high across the back and a main square, and then use sloping sides to level change down to the 1x2 sides, and add dungeon iron walls at the front on the second tile. Next, use vaulted and regular ceilings to close off this floor. We'll later adjust this for a more interesting ceiling design. Build up the quarter pillars again to meet the height of the walls. Next, the roofing. Use Namidian roof pieces to create pyramid roofs over each side coming to flat finishes. At the back, replicate the arch bars section we made earlier on the first tile, 
and then use the same roof pieces to close them off and smooth them into the rear staircase section. All the roofing here is pretty simple, so just complete those roofs to flat finishes using the Namidian pieces. If you don't have Namidian, then Aesir, insulated wood, and to some degree storm glass would also probably work quite well. Atop the flat sections, use reinforced stone wall caps and straight Namidian rooftop pieces. On the single tiles on the first floor, use Namidian rooftop caps as their shape integrates quite well. Finally, atop the main roof, use Namidian rooftop corner pieces to finish off that roof design. Inside the build, use quarter pillars to build up any that haven't been built up yet, including connecting them to any free hanging vaulted ceilings. On the first floor, cut out a 2x2 at the centre of the ceilings. Place iron dungeon walls to connect to the roof above, and then use the dungeon vaulted ceilings to arch these segments for a more interesting ceiling design. Finally, add storm glass fences at the front of the build, and the construction phase is complete. When the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. The build is lit with radium and glowing torches and the occasional regular light source, giving it an eerie and almost ethereal light. I've had this idea for a little while now, and if you've played Cyberpunk you'll likely recognise the name. The afterlife in Cyberpunk is a bar built inside a disused morgue, and I thought the idea of a bar in a place like that was pretty cool, so this is a tavern in, of course, a crypt. To bolster that theme, I've gone with an arcane aesthetic, both to make decorating easier and to foster a coherent style that fits the dungeon set. I've done more than enough rustic taverns in my time, even before now, but an arcane tavern? I think that's a pretty nice aesthetic. Additionally, I'm not exactly sure what was going on here, but this tavern seems to have attracted a lot more NPCs than usual. I also tried using the sarcophagus from the crypt extension to add thematically fitting tables, which I'll be honest I didn't think would work too well, but it looks surprisingly good. The vibe in this tavern is spot on, and it fits the dungeon tavern idea that I had initially coming into this, and kind of exceeds my expectations in a way. Upstairs I included another overflow seating area, just providing a bit more space for thralls and NPCs. Considering the amount of NPCs that did show up, this was actually really useful to have. It's a pretty simple room overall, but thanks to the ceiling and the iron bar window at the front, I think it breaks out from feeling like the box that it basically is. I'll be honest, I didn't have the highest expectations for this build, given that Dungeon is so, well, inflexible, but I think it actually turned out really well. You can definitely do things with the dungeon set, it's just far from as easy as using something like Stormglass or Aesir. They are obviously very good examples of sets that work really well, but whilst Dungeon does definitely still miss the mark, some things like this are possible. And there we have it, the Afterlife Tavern in Map Square C11 of the Exile Lands. Thanks for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed Coffee Cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I've been eager to tackle a dungeon tavern for a while, but after seeing the dungeon extension, I wasn't sure how good it would be. In the end though, all things considered, I think it worked out pretty well. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.